So today's video is very, very relaxed. We have my computer here, which I went in to check on something the other day and noticed just how dusty it is. I have been so busy, I have forgotten to do something which is very important if you're on a desktop computer. I open it up, clean all the components, especially the fans. If they get caked up with dust, they're basically not doing a very good job of cooling your PC. So today's video is all gonna be about cleaning and maintaining your PC and keeping it at a very good working level. I have bought myself some air some canned air, which I feel such a fool for buying, but you have to because you're working with sensitive components. And we're gonna be taking some parts, disassembling them, cleaning them, and then putting them back together to uh, hopefully end up with a far better looking inside of a computer than we started with. So that's today's video. Sit back, grab some popcorn, and enjoy the video. Okay, so the first things we're gonna tackle is these fans. I can see they're already gunked up with things, so we'll get this out of the way, move this out, and then we'll get to some of the other components. Keep track of your screws, so we're gonna use the little compartments here to keep all my screws in, so make sure your screws are back together. You can then um, easily then fit it all back together and not wonder um, where your screws are and putting the wrong ones in the wrong places. That's always thing to remember. And then, yeah, I mean, just be careful. I mean, it's the same sort of things as you do if you're building the computer, um, you know, always work on a hard wooden surface or any sort of surface that doesn't conduct static, um, you know, and just be careful and, and sort of methodical about it. Um, don't try and rush things or force things. Um, you know, just if it doesn't come first time, then find a better way of doing it. Here we go. And you can see that immediately, look at that. I'm not gonna blow on that because that will go everywhere. We'll take these outside to do. So we're gonna pull them, put them to the side, and then we'll blow them outside. Otherwise we'll just end up with dust back in everything. So as you, if you come around here, actually, you'll be able to see the immense amount of dust on that, on that radio. You can even see the, where the fan was and the blades and everything. <laughs> it gets a really good imprint. Oh my God, I'm gonna get ripped to shreds of the internet with this. Always making sure I keep pressure on the radiator so that doesn't start to slip. This was actually my first computer build that I ever did for myself. Um, I upgraded a computer I had before, but this was the first one I did from the ground up, chose the parts and everything. And I've been upgrading it over time. It's, it's come on leaps and bounds, definitely. Um, so it's always been a, a really precious system to me because uh, it's kind of the first one I did properly. So, so yeah. it's like your first child. It's always the one you're gonna love the most. We're not going to take absolutely everything apart, but we're going to take um, the main components apart. Um, I just don't have the time to do absolutely everything, but we'll do as much as we can. That's another one. And then, as you can see, absolutely caked, absolutely caked. Uh, this side's fine, um, as expected, because the way the air's been drawn, and the air's been drawn through this way, so all the dust will get caught in this end and not make it through. So, uh, so yeah, so now, I need to rest this somewhere, so here. And we'll now need to remove the actual heat sink here on top of, so we can take the whole unit off. So we're gonna remove all these screws here. To do this, uh, we are going to turn the computer upside down on its back. Uh, we're gonna plug this little hub here. This is what communicates with Windows and you can program your LEDs. So if, if this gets really hot, it can go red and etc. But we're just gonna leave this here. We don't need that. And of course, we need to make sure that we unplug uh, this out of the motherboard as well, which we will find the cable and do in just a second. So now when we put the block on, as I say in my other computer build videos, you do it in a cross pattern. So you do one corner to one corner. We're gonna do the exact same here. So we can do one corner to one corner and slowly ease the block off. gently release it and then what I'm actually going to do before I fully release this one I'm actually just for safety just to be sure I'm going to gently release this one as well Yeah, we'll do it all in one go uh, rather than sort of back and forth. So we'll take out what we need to take out, do that cleaning of that, and then we'll do it. So we'll continue on. Uh, while we're on the side, we might as well, uh, it's quite good to work when we're on the side. So um, we'll remove the power cables of 
graphics card. They're always a little bit awkward to get out. Just wiggle them a tiny bit, not too difficult, while pushing on the clamp, and they should slowly ease themselves out. There we go. Which is very useful. Now, it's a bit like how you release RAM. There's a little catch down here. Push it down. Let's release the catch. And now, simply, wiggle it a tiny bit. There we go. Now it comes. And then, as you can see, look at all that. Look at all that. That's really terrible. And the fan underneath there is not too great. I don't know what much I'm going to do to this. I don't want to pull it apart too much. Um, I don't feel too comfortable with doing that. Um, so, uh, But we might be able to get the uh, air in there and hopefully get some of that dust out. So we'll have a look at that. A bit of dust in that, so we'll get that done. And I have 16 gigs of RAM. So basically four times four. Okay, so this panel here kind of pops off once you get the front off. So actually we'll do the front one first. Now I come to say it because what will be easier, the front panel should just be able to, there we go, start to, there we go, cool, and then this needs cleaning anyway as you can see in the light here, pretty pretty dirty, there we go, and then of course you've got the cable there, so we're going to trace this cable back, so hold it one hand and then trace where this cable goes. Now it goes behind, actually. Yeah, here it goes. Behind here. We just want to trace it to a point where we can just disconnect it. It's normally part of a bigger network. Um, which is probably why organizing this a bit better would have been helpful, to be honest with you. So at least for the moment, this is the last bit we're going to do. So this is out. There we go. Pull off. That came off a little quicker than I was expecting, but there we go. Um, so that's off. And now we can get to this really big mother of a fan here which draws in uh, some air, something that's cool. So, same as before, really, really, very, very similar to how we did the other stuff. I'm gonna leave everything else in there for the moment and do this as a unit, so take, pull some of the drives out a bit. There's drive sleds here. So we can pull the drive out, do it, slot it back in. We'll just do all that in one go uh, rather than wasting too much time. Um, yeah, cool. So, let's take all of this stuff out, the side panels, everything, outside, and let's get all this sorted um, outside, probably, because there's a hell of a lot of dust that's gonna be created down here. So we're outside in the garden, it's a bit of a mess, but it's fine, we'll forget about that. So uh, we're gonna get stuff cleared off. Now I do have, like I said, this air dust can, which I'm hoping is gonna do some good. Uh, it's not very big, um, so we're gonna just try and brush stuff off first of all, um, so I probably should have a brush for that. So hold there one second. Okay. So any non-delicate components, we can just brush off some dust with this crappy brush, but it'll do. Some of the dust on those. So rather than not waste um, our precious funds on the canned air. That's my year salary, that is, yeah. You don't get salary. Oh. I don't know how much this is gonna use, so I'm not overdo it. Um, I definitely think that's got a better response. I feel like that's already getting less, so we're not going to overdo that. Maybe I should have bought more than one can, but it's smaller than I expected. <coughs> Some of my family, I love them. On, at least I have fans. So the fans are done. They're all complete. The fans are better than expected. So now let's work on um, the more delicate, possibly. Let's, let's just go for the mother, I think. Let's just go for the biggest thing here, the, the biggest dust problem, which I'm hoping, this is my plan, that the, blow the air through this side, and then that's all just going to go everywhere. It should be fun. It should be fun. So we're going to try it out. Here we go. I feel like this isn't going to work, but let's try it. That's really pathetic. All it's done is started smoking very slightly. Okay, now this is what I was hoping I'd be able to do quite a bit with. Now, ideally, you probably want to take it apart, but I don't want to do this. So I'm going to not use the brush on the back. That would be a lun lunatic thing to do. But I'm going to use some of this can. I'm hoping, really hoping that this is going to 
What I actually would try first of all is in my pocket here. It comes with a little straw. So rather than for your juice cartons, it's actually for this. Ah, it's just working really well. Look at that. That's kind of what we've been missing out on. There we go. Look at that. That's now just in there to scoop out. That's brilliant. So hopefully, there we go. Just knock some of the dust off. So what I'm gonna do is just be very careful and literally just brush off really lightly. Uh, just be extra careful. Just getting any of the dust that's stuck in here. Honestly, this is more personal thing rather than the performance thing. It will make pretty much no difference. So I'll uh, pop this here. Okay. We'll probably use a bit of this can there on this, but as this is only plastic, it doesn't really matter how we clean it particularly. If you wanna break any of the little connectors um, off, been wary to do that, but this brush should knock through the majority of the dust, and then we'll just blow the air through the through the grate to finish it off. This grill is really important because. As you can see, if all the dust is stuck in there, then um, it's just gonna be sucking it back in through the system, so. So, the final bit here is the case itself. Now, I could have taken everything out, and honestly, if you wanna do it properly, do it. Take out your power supply, take out your motherboard, take your hard drives out and do it properly. To be honest, I don't have the time uh, to sort of take everything about the part at the moment. I've got lots of stuff to get on with, so we're just gonna do a, a quick job of, we check out that core components, get those clean, the ones that really need cleaning, and then we're just gonna do this fan up here and then do everything else in the case quickly. That's where this air duster can hopefully comes into play. So, uh, so yeah. So I'm gonna quickly, before we do the rest of the case, do the fan first, because it's gonna knock it into the case and then we're gonna knock it out of the case, that's a plan anyway, so. We'll do the same as we did before with this fan, so we'll just clean this out. Bang and the dust is gone. There we go. And it will filter through the hole on the bottom as well that the fan hold I'm not using. There's a little screw here that's, uh, sometimes when I work on stuff, the screws will fall down and I won't have been bothered to pull them out. So that's one of the screws from something like that. And as you can see, this drawer is a bit crap, so I've not used it. It's sort of broke for no reason. And let's knock off the dust off the power supply. Being really careful. Would you say this is your baby? Oh yeah, of course it is. You do like, I know it sounds weird to some people, but the people who build computers will get it. You do obviously have a bond with that computer because I mean, if something goes wrong, you're the one that's fixing it, you know, you're upgrading it, you're cleaning it like this, spending time on it. So you do, I guess, have that sort of connection with the device, you do have some sort of, I mean, just who we are as humans, really. It's hard for us not to form connections with anything, really, that we spend enough time on. So we're back from the garden, all the components have been cleaned. We're gonna stop them back together. And I'm not gonna show you this bit, mainly because there's not a lot of points. You saw me take it apart. I've done videos on building computers before, so it's just gonna make the video longer than necessary. So we'll cut back in a minute once I've put all this back together. Here we have it, the computer is back together and looking pretty damn good. There is some still dust in there, like I said, I couldn't take everything fully apart, but it's looking a hell of a lot better. I can already feel the airflow is tons better. So the lesson of the video basically is, take an interest in your computer, even if it's one off the shelf, even if it's one that someone built for you, take an interest in it, have a look what's inside, take it apart, you know, take a photo of things as you take them apart. So the worst case scenario, you can refer back to those photos and keep it clean, because honestly, if you're spending a lot of money on this computer, you need to maintain it and make sure that you're still getting the best cooling. Because I mean, you don't want your computer to overheat and the biggest way of overheating is a collective of dust. And also it's just gonna make things look a whole lot worse. And if you do wanna fix anything, it's just gonna make things a lot more difficult. So honestly, I couldn't recommend cleaning your computer more. I don't think enough people do it. Uh, so every so often, a couple of times a year even, take it apart, clean it, put it back together. And uh, you know, not only if you're not sure about computers, you'll be learning as you go. And um, you know, also you're learning a good practice. So, uh, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna try and do it more, hopefully. Anyway, thank you guys for watching the video. If you've enjoyed this relaxed style video, let us know in the comment section down below or by hitting that like button. You can follow me on Twitter, check the description for that, and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one.
I know what to say on this one, so I'm gonna go, I went for the t-shirt one last time, so wear red t-shirts is what I'm gonna say.